Hello, everyone. Welcome to Harvest at Your Library. I'm your librarian, Dan Lo. It's very exciting to have this first YouTube video about our new robot FarmBot at Palo Alto City Library. If you are familiar with our library, you know we have a long history developing robotics programs. Before the pandemic, we used to have robot performances and robot dojo classes with a humanoid robot called Dewey and another cute little robot called Elsie. Since the pandemic, we've created some videos for them, and you can find these on the library's website. Let me show you how to find them. So, if you are at the library's website, library.cityofpalado.org, you can do a whole website search on keyword robots. And the first program page is what we are looking for here. On this page, you'll see Elsie and Dewey sitting side by side. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the Robo Dojo video playlist and then the Elsie, Elsie's cute little dance here. And underneath, you can find more resources about the robots. As to our newest robot member, FarmBot, it's yet another grant-funded robot. Thanks very much to the Pacific Library Partnership to sponsor this program. FarmBot isn't as cute as Dewey or Elsie, but it makes differences in two ways. First, this robot was the first one that got constructed at our library. We, brought, we bought a kit from the company FarmBot using the grant money and I worked with the members from our community to assemble the bot last year during the pandemic. Kudos to the girls and mentors from Space Cookies. Space Cookies is a local girls robotics team and the girls and mentors uh, generously offer their knowledge and help to this project. Secondly, FarmBot is not an entertaining robot like Dewey or Elsie. It can make real things happen in the real world. It knows how to do all the chores to grow small vegetables. Now, if you want to know the details and the background of the project, I recommend you read the blog on our website. And I'm going to show you how you can find the blog on the website. So again, if you are on the website's homepage, do a search on web robots for the whole website and you will find a blog a robot born of community spirit in this blog we introduce all aspects of the project we also introduced how we assemble the bot the issues we ran into and around time when we published this blog, we were still trying to set up software interface, tuning the software with the hardware, troubleshooting the hardware issues, etc. But now we are ready to demo demonstrate our farm bot. Uh, let me first introduce to you all the major moving parts of the farm bot. So the farm bot can move in six directions along three axes. And as you can see on this image, uh, the whole bot is sitting on a planter. And the long side of the planter, we call it X axis. The short side, that's the Y axis. The vertical side, that's the Z axis. Towards the end of the Z axis, we have the tool mount. And it can mount tools from the tool bay, which is set between uh, the two X axis on one side. Now it's time for us to check out the FarmBot's web app. It is really cool. Once this, you know, uh, the setup has done in the interface, uh, we can remotely control FarmBot. So right now I'm sitting, you know, I'm really far away from the bot, I, but I can make things happen. And we've already scheduled uh, tasks like daily tasks for the bot to run in the morning every day. Okay, on this web app interface, on the very top, you see a menu bar 
that has a list of different icons. Each one stands for a major function of the farm bot. And underneath the menu bar, you see a simulator of the farm bot itself. Uh, on the top of simulator, there are some colorful circles. These are these stand for the tools sitting on the tool bay. And if we scroll down, there's a gray circle at the bottom left corner too. Uh, that's that stands for the tool mount on the Z axis. Okay. How about we ask the farm bot to take some photos today? First, I'm going to ask the farm bot to move over to the tool base, specifically moving over to the watering nozzle and take a photo. You know, to guarantee the farm bot always know its uh, position, I start each command with the find home um, section. So it will find its home first, then move to the move above the tool, take a photo, and then go back to home. Let's run the command and see how it goes. As you can see, the request is now get sent over to the device, mainly the Raspberry Pi on the farm bot. And things are happening on the simulator. It's trying to find its home. And then things look good. It starts to move upward, move across the planter towards the tool bay. Oh, we saw a flash. That means a photo is taken. Let's go to photos. Voila! Look. Uh, that's our uh, water tool there, water nozzle tool there, okay. And now on the simulator, we see that after the farm bot took a photo, it's moving back to the home position again. Next, I'm going to ask it to take a photo of a plant. This is because, uh, as you can see on the simulator, we have some um, carrot icons there. That's where um, I scheduled the farm bot to plant to sow carrot seeds. Of course, it only sowed carrot seeds at the position of the lower left corner of the carrot icon. So we're going to ask it to take a picture there. Okay, very similar to the previous command. It'll find its home first move to the plant, take a photo, and then go back home. Let's run it again. Now this time the farm, that farm bot doesn't need to travel across the planter. It barely needs to leave the home to take the photo of that plant. Okay, we saw flash. Let's go and the photos function is going to get refreshed. Voila, I think I see some carrot leaves here. Now, finally, before we end today's session, I'm going to show you something really lovely that happened uh, around October 4th last year. That's the time when I first tested the watering function of the farm bot. And the water is sprayed <laughs> appeared on soil as a heart shape. How lovely is that? All right, I hope you enjoyed today's session and I look forward to seeing all of you in our next video. Bye everyone.